How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm going to show you how to use the sum method on arrays in JavaScript. So sum is very similar to the every method where the every method checks if all the elements in an array meet a certain condition and it returns true or false. The sum method uh, checks if at least one element in the array meets that condition. So we're going to define an array up here uh, called numbers and we're going to put a few numbers in here. For example, 10, 50, 75 and 102. So what if you want to know if at least one element in this array is over the value of 100? We can do this using the sum method. So first we need to define a function that will be our test or our condition. So we'll say is bigger than 100. All right. This function takes one parameter and that will be one of these numbers. For example, 10, 50, 75, 102. We're going to return n greater than 100. This function will test if n is greater than 100 and then return true or false whether or not that is true. So now, uh, we're going to pass this function into the sum method and see how we go. So we're going to say numbers.sum and we're going to pass in is bigger than 100. So and actually we'll just console log it. So we'll say console.log and then pass that in there. And this will check whether or not one of these elements in this array is greater than 100. Let's now go in the browser and refresh. And we see we get true because we have 102, which is bigger than 100. If we make this, for example, uh, 60, save that, and then refresh, we get false. All right, so that is how you can use the sum method on arrays in JavaScript. Thank you for watching, and see you later.